concerned you're being bought, John. On the cusp of your true independence. On the finding of your own powerful words. I fear you're being seduced. Well, I fear you're behaving like an irritating sister, Sarah. How about... What a lovely party, John. Please extend my thanks to your generous bride-to-be. Generous? She humiliated you. She did not humiliate me. She laughed. At your expense. It was a moment or two of teasing. That debased you. If I'm not fussed by it, why should you be? You don't care about me particularly? You made that quite clear when I asked you to marry me. You said no, if you recall. She's unkind to you. In public, no less. Which is not right for you, John. Don't you see? You deserve someone who is adventurous and curious and... Someone like you? Yes. Someone like me. Yazoo Tributary. What? It's an Indian name for a tributary that runs beside a main river. Flirts with joining it. Comes very close. It never does. A woman exactly like that. Untied to the suffocating social mores, the very opposite of any number of women down there. And the opposite of you, too. So full of judgment. Yet trussed up like a turkey in your corset and your fancy dress. I decided, unlike you, that I want not to be alone. Childless, lonely, corseted. You're no Yazoo tributary, Sarah Howard. In fact, you're swimming right down the middle of the stream. <laughs> <laughs>